Hi, this is Jason, and today I'm going to show you how to slice up an image and use it as a template for XI Pro. So I'm in Photoshop, but you can use whatever uh, image editing software you have. Um, so I'm going to open up the image. And first thing I'm going to do is drag some guides down to where I think uh, the panel image should be. So for example, if I go down to here, I'll use this as the header image. And as I come down to here, I'm just leaving a little bit of the white. And this will be the footer image. Come over to here. This will be the left. Come over to here. This will be the right. And what I want to do, I want to have the same amount of white space between the white and the, the guideline and the, to the gray on both sides. So the um, when you have text in the main panel here, the padding looks the same on both sides. But we don't need big images like this for the left, the main, and the, and the right. We can just have a small piece, so I'll go like that. And I'll use this for the left, and this for the main, and this for the right. And now we have it all sliced, or we have it, the guides where we want the slices to be. And I'll, um, in Photoshop, you can click on the slice tool and slice from guides. And now I'm going to delete the slices that I don't want. Because I have three slices up here for the header, I only want one slice. So I'm going to delete that one and delete this one. Same thing with the footer, I'm going to delete this one and delete this one. Now I can go to the center slice here and edit it. We'll call it header. Right now you can see it's 595 uh, width and we want to be a thousand. So if we drag these out all the way to the edges, and now we edit the slice, we'll see that it is now a thousand. And same thing with the footer. Rename it and call it footer. Then drag out to the edges and it also should be 1,000 pixels. It's just 1,000 on this sample I'm showing you. Your, your template could be anything. Just 1,000 was just uh, particular to this template here. So that looks good. Now we can go to the left, edit, and rename it. Go to the main panel area. Rename that, and also on the right. So now we have those. I can also delete these other slices, because I don't need those. So now that I'm done, I can go to File and Save for Web. And we're going to save it as JPEG, um, quality 60, which is high, which looks fine. And uh, just click Save. OK, now that's saved to my desktop. So we can go into Excite Pro. In Excite Pro, I'm going to add a new website. We want to choose the blank template. We need to give it a name. and open it up. Now to install the images we want to be in the page layout tab. And I like to start out with the left panel. Uh, actually before we go there let's add all the images to our resource manager. So other resource manager and click on add. 
here's our images footer header left main and right and that's just a leftover we don't need add them to the images folder and there they go so now we can go back to the page layout tab starting off in the left panel section we will go to the top and we'll select our image for the left and on the left the main and the right we wanted to note the width of each image so on the left we have a 39 is our width right here so we'll set the width to 39 in the main panel the width is 595 and the right panel is 366 so I'll change this to 366 now we can go to our header panel and put our image in and the, on the header and the footer we want to note the height so it's 255 pixels tall so we need to remember that we're going to go to advanced and put in 255 so now we can go to designer and type in our website name and whatnot up here now down to our footer we want to include the footer and grab the image it's 124 pixels tall so I'll change this to 124 and that should do it let's preview and here's our preview in Firefox and uh, looks like everything came out okay but as you can see in our preview um, the dark blue background here we want to have that extend all the way out to the edges so let's go back into Excite Pro so in Excite Pro we're going to go down to the page margins and we need to put in a color here that's the same as this blue so I'm going to open up Color Mania which I suggest you should download it's a free download just go to Google Color Mania and you'll find it and I'm going to get that color which is here's, here's the number for the color right there and close that we'll get rid of the white we'll paste in that color so now when we preview it has the blue background with none of the white that's it thanks for watching